Yo, what's the issue about the KGB bat? Whenever you ask me, no cap today, we got. I fuck my knee, fuck, bro. Anyways, we got what, what we found. What in the forest? We're gonna be make sure you like, comment, make sure you subscribe, and make sure I'm reacting next, bro. Share into the video. So today, I have a pretty interesting story about something that a couple of my friends and I found in the forest one day. Something what the fuck? Even really dangerous or even deadly to us. And to give a little bit of background, there aren't any forests in the area where I live. But one weekend, a few of my friends and a couple of their parents were going to drive us up to a forest area to go camping for a couple of days. And if any of you have ever been camping, a lot of the times there will be like little areas set aside in forests for people to stay. You know, they'll have like little outhouses or maybe even a couple cabins or something. And I remember driving up, seeing areas like that, and then we just kept driving. But eventually, we all stopped and got out. It had been like over an hour since I'd seen anything other than a tree. Like we Damn. Were in the middle you of the deep in the forest. Of ...how isolated this area was. And everything started out normal, you know. We set up our tents on one side, and a couple of their parents that drove up with us set up their tents in another area. And we were all around like 12 or 13, so pretty young, but still old enough to be mostly fine doing our own thing. And the rest of that day went by completely fine. But then the next day comes... And this is the day that the main part of the story takes place. So we were all just walking around, climbing trees, just finding weird bugs, just typical forest stuff. You, know? you like finding bugs? I would want like, like try to avoid the bugs. And at one point, we ended up splitting up, and three of us went off in a separate direction. And my one friend, let's just call him Joey, was like, mm -hmm. hey, we should go explore in this direction because we haven't been over there yet, and maybe we'll find something interesting. So we started walking, and we walked for quite a while, probably like 10 minutes. Which walking for 10 minutes straight can kind of cover a lot of distance. Facts. We just aimlessly wandering, you know. We tried to walk in a straight line so we could easily just turn back around and walk in the opposite direction without getting lost. And we didn't really mean to walk out that far for that long, but we just kept not finding anything interesting. And none of us really realized how far out we were walking, and we just all kept going. Because, you know, if you're in a random forest, you're always hoping to find, like, some creepy cave or weird... Why? Or something. See, this is why I don't do this type of stuff. Oh, shit. If you know, you know, bro. realized how long we have been walking for. And I'm like, guys, I know we haven't really found anything yet. Like, we were hoping to. But we should probably head back. So At least you have some common sense, bro. And plus, it was starting to get dark out. And that would just be a whole nother problem to deal with. Yeah, definitely. like... Nah, just a little bit further, and then we Of course it's the ones named Joey, bro. Fine, let's just go a little bit further. And not even two minutes later, our other friend that was with us, let's call him Christian, points out this gray-colored object lying in a pile of dead leaves. Don't so touch it. Over to it, and it By a trap. This long, kind of cylinder-shaped thing with some markings and writings on it. And I think all three of us thought the exact same thing as soon as we all saw it close up. And you'll see what I mean by that in a second. What do you think it was? Down and picks it up. Of course he did, bro. Of course it's Joey again. Warning and had a bunch of explosion and fire and detonation symbols on it. So I just say out loud what we were all kind of thinking. And I'm like, guys, is this a bomb or what? Christian is like, no way that's an actual bomb. And we obviously had no way of verifying if it was or wasn't, but it literally says stuff like warning and danger on the outside of it, as well as a bunch of other smaller writing that I didn't have time to read, and it had all types of suspicious looking symbols on it. Like, the whole thing just looks suspicious. And at this point, we're all thinking, like, what else could this even be? So we came to the conclusion that it was, in fact, some type of explosive. And at first, I'm thinking, this is a pretty random place to find an explosive. But we were in the mountains, and I know they use stuff like that to blow away pieces of mountains or dig tunnels for mines. But that's the only logical reason I can think of for that being there. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so we've now established that this is, in fact, some type of explosive. So you would think we would just be like, oh, let's leave it alone, not mess with it, and just get away. But no, they literally start like touching it and picking it up. They were acting like we found an interesting rock or something that was completely harmless. So Joey is literally just standing there holding this thing in his hand, just holding a straight up explosive. And he's like, what do we do? With of it? course it's the Joey again, bro. The answer to that question would be to set it down and walk away. But then Christian kind of motions in the general direction of our campsite and is like, what if this thing blows up and takes us all out? And I go, how about we just put it down carefully and then get away from it? And I'm telling the story, you know, kind of calmly right now. But at the time, all three of us were all panicking. Me more than them for some reason. But I was freaking out. My Nay, I would have been gone, bro. If my friends want to be stupid, bro, you guys could go be stupid, bro. Blow up. And then Joey is like, we have to bury it. Oh my god, of course it's Joey again. And then he starts 
starts saying how he saw in some old detective movie how they bury the bomb in the ground to prevent it from hurting anyone. And then Christian agrees with him. He's like, yeah, we got to bury it. Nigga, you niggas can bury it. I will go back to the campsite. sense and how to actually sound and i'm thinking you know once again like i'm about to die like we just found this weird explosive thing in the middle of the forest and i was actually thinking i could die at any second now so i told them i'm walking back to where thank you bro at, and you should come with me but the two of them said that they were going to stick around and bury it so i'm like all right i'll see you guys back there in a bit then and then i dip out of there and i already know there's going to be some comment like oh whoa uh, what a pussy trying to run away from this thing just, it's a bomb bro just like walking in a park or something one day and randomly came across a weird explosive bomb type of thing you're running the opposite direction and calling the exactly bro or if you're my two crazy friends you'll pick it up and try to bury it and i tried to get them to leave with me but they said they wouldn't so i just left by myself and you remember earlier how i said we walked in a straight line out there or at least tried to so we could walk back well either our path on the way there wasn't straight or mine on the way back wasn't <laughs> Ass fucked, bro. I'm wandering around thinking, where even am I? I'm not recognizing any unique landmarks. I literally started calling out to Joey and Christian, but there's no responses. And I'm like, well, if I don't die from that explosion, I'm gonna die from getting lost in the wilderness. So for probably 10 more minutes, I'm just wandering around trying to find my way. And it's starting to get dark out now, too. And then luckily, I guess I had just walked in a giant circle because I found myself right back in the area where we found the explosive room. Were they still there? Below this little hill, and I hear Joey call my name. I guess he noticed me or heard me, and I look up, and they're both up there. And that's when I realized I had just walked in a giant circle, basically. Ain't no fucking way. They down to me, and they're like, all right, we just buried it, so we're all good now. And I'm like, all right, let's try to get back to everyone else before it gets dark out. So the three of us find our way back, and when we told everybody else what we had found, nobody believed us. They're like, oh, it was probably just a weird rock or something. What the fuck? A weird rock? I guess if it's a weird rock that says warning and has explosive symbols on it, then sure. But yeah, nobody believed us. None of our friends, none of their parents. And to this day, it's probably still there, buried somewhere in a one-foot hole. But yeah, guys, that's all for this video. Hey, bro, if you're in the direction, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.